ir a, ir a. So it's important to learn uh, how the verb ir works with other words. And that's why we're including a, ir a. Okay? Ir a. What does this mean? Hmm. This means to go to, to go to a place. Okay, so you can say I'm going to the store. You can use ir a in that situation. You can say, um, I don't know, I'm going to somewhere else. I'm going to work. I'm going home. I'm going uh, on a trip. Okay, uh, so ir a is perfect for those situations when you are going somewhere. Okay, and you need to add the place. Is it a house? Is it a hotel? Is it, I don't know, your job? You're going to, to work. So you need to know where you're going if you want to use this little phrase, ir a, ir a. For example, I can say, quiero ir a la playa. Quiero ir a la playa. This means I want to go to the beach. Okay, so this is this is a great example. If you want to let other people know what you want to do or where you want to go, rather. So let's break this down. Let's see how this works. Quiero. Yo quiero. We don't need yo. We need quiero. And that means I want. Yo quiero. You can say yo quiero if you want to. But quiero is a very common way to say I want. Quiero ir a, we have the phrase here, the verb ir and the preposition a, okay? Ir a, to go to, I want to go to, of course, quiero if you, obviously you need to add more to the sentence. It's very similar to saying I want to. And then you add more. Ir a, go to, okay? La playa. La playa. La means the. Playa means beach, okay? Quiero ir a la playa. I want to go to the beach. Hmm. It's a very simple Spanish sentence, but it's a very basic and common one. And it's really good to know. It's very good to know how to say things like where you want to go. Quiero ir a la playa. For example, if someone asks to you or asks you, where do you want to go in Spanish? A donde quieres ir? Then you can say quiero ir a and then add the place. In this situation, la playa. But you can change this to, obviously, something else. Quiero ir a mi casa. Okay? Uh, I want to go to, essentially, you're saying my house. I want to go to my house. Okay? But it's very similar to saying, Quiero, um, I want to go home. Okay? I want to go home. Um, so... I want to go home. Okay, very similar to saying that. Quiero ir a mi casa. I want to go home. Um, okay, you can also say, quiero ir a casa. That also means I want to go home. Okay, so I'm just letting you know different things to say. Pretty much the same thing, which is important as well to know for sure. To learn, it's important. Okay, now... Let's learn or let's look at another example using ir a, ir a. Okay. The next example is. Puedes ir a la tienda a comprar pan. Puedes ir a la tienda a comprar pan? This is a, a good question. And it means, oops, sorry. 
It means that's not that's not the meaning. I apologize. Um, can you go to the store to buy bread? Okay, sorry. I, sorry about that. <laughs> can you go to the store to buy bread? That's the meaning of this question. Okay. <laughs> Oh boy. Puedes, puedes, uh, tú puedes, we don't need tú, uh, you need puedes. In a question, it means can you, okay? If it's not in a question, then it means you can. Puedes ir, you can go. But if it's in a question, it means can you, okay? Can you, puedes Ir a, go to, okay, la tienda. We have the location here. La tienda, la tienda, the place. We have a place there. The store, okay, the store. La, the, tienda, store. To, buy, a, Comprar pan, bread, okay? Puedes ir a la tienda a comprar pan. Can you go to the store to buy bread? So something really important to notice here is the a, ah, another a ah here. So after you say ir a ah, right here and you have a place already, right? La tienda. Then, if you want the person to do something at the place, then you can say a, ah, a, ah, and then add a verb. In this situation, you are adding, or we are adding, comprar, which means to buy, okay? And then you can add more, right? Uh, what do you want the person to buy? In this situation, we have a noun, and the noun is pan. Pan, bread, okay? Puedes ir a la tienda a comprar pan. Can you go to the store to buy bread? So this is a very, very, very interesting example. If you want to ask someone to go someplace to do something, okay? So this is this is great. Um, you noticed probably that I, I didn't conjugate the verb ir, because I didn't have to, you know, we have quiero. Usually when you say quiero, you add a verb. Quiero comer, I want to eat. So you don't, you don't conjugate the verb. It stays in the infinitive form. So quiero, quiero comer, I want to eat. Quiero correr, I want to run. Quiero leer, I want to read. So it's the same thing here. It applies the same rule here. So we have quiero and then the uh, verb in the infinitive form. And then obviously we need to add a. Okay. Same here. Puedes. This comes from the verb poder. This comes from the verb querer. So you already have a conjugation here. So now you need the next verb in the infinitive form. And that's why I didn't have to conjugate ir. Okay. Puedes ir a. Can you go to? Or puedes traer algo. Can you bring something? Puedes correr más rápido. Can you run faster? Okay. So just keep that in mind. That's why I have ir a just like that. But you can change this to, for example, voy a la playa, okay? And that means I'm going to the beach, okay? I'm going to the beach. So I know that I'm not saying yendo, which is the gerund of ir, but that's how it works in Spanish. Remember, you cannot translate from English into Spanish word by word because it doesn't work. So when you want to say voy a, 
when you want to say I'm going to, you say voy a, okay? Voy a. I'm going to. Okay, and you can change this to anything else. Voy a trabajar. You can also add a verb after that. And that means I'm going to work, right? I'm going to work. Or voy a comer. Comer. Infinitive form. Remember that. Did you notice? Voy a comer. I'm going to eat. Okay. I'm going to eat. So it's very flexible. Um, essentially, ir a means to go to. Remember, sometimes you conjugate ir a, sometimes you don't. So it depends on what you want to say, of course. Of course.